everyone welcome 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 back to my channel yes guys so today we are not in the kitchen we're not cooking today again yes i bring you something different guys this clip you're gonna see in the next one in the next clip oh my goodness guys when i saw the, the first time i saw this clip like my heart almost came out i was so like oh my goodness what is gonna happen what is gonna happen like oh good oh my like guys it was so bad it was so horrible so because of this guys i strongly think that safeguarding courses should be given to parents not just workers not just staff that works in a hospital that works in schools or in some workplaces safeguarding courses should be given to parents also on this next clip you're gonna see the reason why i say so because when I watch, when I watch this clip, guys, like I was so devastated, like it was so bad. guys so you finish washing tell me how do you feel what you know how do you feel just seeing those two boys left alone in the room with no adult whatsoever you know look at how the danger like the danger they both went through what if they haven't made what if that boy didn't make it out escape that thing that happened what would have happened like what would have happened to him like you know i saw like after watching the clip to the end i was like thanking god god thank you thank you for saving his life thank you for allowing him to escape under the chest chester draw because it would have been a different issue 
the boy would have been dead something would have happened to him he would have break his bones you know so this is why it's so crucial it's so important so guys you see the danger the the danger of leaving your child alone just for one minute just even two minutes guys don't say because i'm just going to the next room let me just quickly go to the next room or i'm gonna just go somewhere for five minutes my kids will be okay no guys please let's be conscious on how we train our children how we bring our children up if you have to go somewhere take your children with you don't leave them alone if they are of the age that they can stay home by themselves yes leave them at home but at that stage they're too young you can't leave a five years old alone you can't leave a four years old alone even a six years old you can't even leave it leave he, he or she alone yes maybe eight years old yes you can say sit there i'm coming let me run to the shop i'll be right back that would that a little bit understandable yeah that's a, that alone is a little bit acceptable but when your child is three years old when your child is two years old when your child is a year old or even a baby even when your child is even seven even eight years old please wait when you live in the house take that child of yours and take them along with you because it's so you know just for us to avoid this accident that can lead to someone losing their life and you know how how are you going to feel if if that mother have came to that room and found one of the boys dead now how is she going to feel like is she going to be normal afterward like knowing that it was her own carelessness that leads that boy to her early i mean lead him to his early grave yes guys please thank you for watching like share comment and let me know your view guys